The widow of a man killed in a freak awning accident says he will be remembered as a great man with a passion for the environment. Family and friends have also described Chris Walton as a hero who pushed people out of the way as the awning fell. Jessica Ross has this report. Christmas Eve shouldn't be spent like this. A family left without a father and husband. He was just a great man that many people will remember with such love. Sharing the pain, countless friends, a steady stream arriving at the accident scene turned shrine. Chris has left a phenomenal legacy. Chris Walton used his final moments to help others, pushing three women out of the way as the awning came crashing down. Which is very typical of him because he was someone who, you know, usually thought of others first. He went out a hero. Strangers who tried to save him also returned to pay tribute. Yeah, it kind of rocked us a little bit. Um, sort of being right here and there. The 54-year-old co-founded the award-winning Kurumban Eco Village with his wife and leaves behind a young son. You his know, passion for his community clear uh, as he speaks in this recent documentary. Places. People down south say, how can you live on the Gold Coast? And I go, incredibly easy. He was a, a sustainable man, an eco man, an adventure man. He was just always smiling. Chris Walton didn't just build an estate, he created a community, a community that now rallies behind his family and takes small comfort in knowing they're part of his legacy. The whole dream to create a better way to live, you know, that it could be possible to live a better way than this crazy world that, that seems to have turned out. A report is being prepared for the coroner. Councils also inspected the site. They may find out how it happened, but Chris Walton's loved ones will forever ask why. On the Gold Coast, Jessica Ross, 10 News.